everyone. Today we have a special guest, Dr. Duchesne. The effects of smoking have been proven dangerous, but every day millions of people have been willingly, willingly accepting the effects of smoking with the health risks it has raised, such as lung cancer, diabetes, and strokes. Why would people ever knowingly harm their body? The answer is actually relatively simple. People started smoking at a young age, often in their late teenage years but kept smoking as an adult to the addictiveness of it. They may have only started out with three, maybe four, or five cigarettes, but the drug nicotine is extremely addictive. They are only smoking for the, few, for the first few times, knowing the health risks, but they are not planning on being a pack-a-day smoker. To prevent citizens from further harm to their body, smokers have been banned. smoking has been banned in the United States and it is now not legal to smoke anywhere or for stores to buy and sell cigarettes. Our major questions today for Dr. Duchesne are why was smoking banned in the United States of America? What are the effects of cigarettes on our economy? How many people does smoking kill a year? And how does smoking affect the environment? And lastly, is smoking really bad for your body? Thank you, Monica, for having me on the show. I've been pushing for smoking to be banned in the United States for some time. After 10 years of research on this topic, I have been conclusive with my decision that smoking should be banned. I think that on May 20th, Congress made the correct decision in saving our citizens, that decision being banning smoking. As you pointed out before, most smokers started in their early teens and... And, in fact, 90% of smokers started in their teens. Once they smoke a couple cigarettes, the nicotine addiction can begin. From that point on, they become hooked not on the cigarette itself, but the nicotine inside it. From then on, it will only get worse. From the first inhalation of a cigarette, your body is damaged. The smoke emitted from the cigarette will leave your mucus lining in your nose damaged. The mucus lining helps catch small particles in the air that may da damage your lungs. Next. The heat from the cigarette causes your lips to darken, then wrinkles and age spots start to appear. Also, the tar from, your li the, tar from the cigarette adheres to your lips, staining them permanently. Now that the smoke is inside your mouth, the tar starts to coat the enamel of your teeth, discoloring them. The heat from the smoke also damages the cells in and around your mouth, and in some cases leading to a change in their DNA, causing mutations. Once inside the mouth, the tar and other chemicals affect all parts of your oral cavity. The chemicals present in a, pres present in a cigarette are numerous and they form a coat and they coat your tongue, palate, and in the inside of your cheeks. It deadens your taste buds, hyperactivates your salivary glands, and eventually blocks them, leading to a lack of saliva in your mouth. That is also one of the reasons smokers need to drink a bottle of water after a smoke. The tar and chemicals also coat the roof of your mouth, leading to a condition called the smoker's palate, where the roof of your mouth gets coated with a whitish residue with a small red spots protruding from them. These protrusions are actually the opening of ducts of glands present on the palate. Smoking also kills the good bacteria within your mouth, giving way to bad breath and a condition called oral thrush. It also leads to gum disease, discolors your gums, turning them black, leads to cavities and causes oral cancer. This is mainly because the heat combined with the chemicals in smoke tend to damage cells leading to mutations and change in their DNA. This change may affect their mechan mechanism of multiplying in a uniform manner or the one that stops their multiplication. Smoking also affects your olfactory system nose leading to an eventual loss in your ability to smell. And I think we might have to take a commercial break. And now we're back from our commercial break. Now over to Dr. Duchesne. Now that the smoke is entering into your throat, once you start to inhale the smoke, it first hits the back of your mouth or the beginning of your throat. This place is packed with blood vessels that immediately contract. It also affects the mucosal cells lining in the part of your throat, eventually deadening them. This can lead to infections, excessive dryness, and irritation. One of the commonest complaints a smoker has is that they feel an itchy sensation at the back of their mouth. This is due to the irritation and dryness of this region. Once the smoke travels lower down your throat, it causes irritation, and in some people, they need to cough. The need to cough. According to experts, 
the formaldehyde and acrolein abundantly pres present in cigarettes are primary reasons for throat irritation smokers experience. Apart from the, that, cigarette smoke also causes change, changes in one's voice, commonly seen as hoarseness of the voice. It is mainly because of the effect oh, the chemicals have, have on the vocal cords. Another reason for this is the constant clearing of one's throat commonly seen in smokers. Smoking can also cause throat cancer. This is because the constant irritation of the lining of the throat combined with the erosion and damage of the cells lining the throat leads to a change in the way cells form and regenerate. Now the smoke is entering into your windpipe or trachea. The trachea is the pipe that leads to your lungs. It is lined with tiny hair-like pr processes called cilia that help throw out any foreign objects. These cilia get damaged by the smoke of cigarettes and tend to function less optimally. It also leads to itchiness in the trachea, leading to what is called the smoker's cough. Smoking can also lead to irritation of the larynx and laryngitis, which is an infection of the larynx. It also affects your esophagus. Smoking affects your food pipe as well. The chemicals and heat from the smoke tend to affect the esophageal sphincter muscle. This is the muscle responsible for keeping the contents and acids in your stomach from rising back up into your throat. The weakening of this muscle is one of the main reasons for GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. Acidity, ulcers, and other stomach ailments. Now the smoke has entered into your bronchi and alveoli. This, this where the cigarette smoke does, does the most damage that is slow, progressive, and deadly. Cigarette smoke attacks the cleaning mechanism of the respiratory system that is guided by cilia and mucus. The cilia moves the mucus that has trapped foreign objects like dust, bacteria, etc., and throws it out of the body. In the smoker, these cilia tend to get paralyzed and eventually die. Smoking can also cause an increase in the amount of mucus produced, and since the cilia can no more function and throughout the mucus, a person develops a smoker's cough. Apart from that, Apart from that, the cells along the bronchioles get damaged and tend to multiply abnormally. These cells cause the hardening of the outer surface of the of the outer surface of the bronchioles and leads to lesser ability to exchange gas with the microscopic air sacs called alveoli present around them. Eventually, these air sacs burst and lead to what is known as emphysema, a common condition seen in long-term smokers. Smoking also leads to a buildup of tar within the bronchioles. This, coupled with the th thickening of its wall, leads to breathlessness, wheezing, fatigue, and in some cases, dizziness. Cigarette smoke also contains carbon monoxide. This is a potentially lethal gas since it is attaches to the hemi part of your blood and does not allow it to carry oxygen to other organs. Inhaling too much of this gas can kill you. In cigarette smoke, carbon monoxide leads to a lack of oxygen and in the body, which eventually affects all of your office. organs. It not only sets off the roller coaster of events leading to cancer, it also starts the process of eventually decay of your organs, starting from your mouth to your brain, then to your kidneys, liver, digestive system, and blood. Even when exhaling the smoke from your body, you are still damaging it. When you exhale, the entire process is repeated and all the chemical smoke, tar, etc. deposited along your airway is doubled. Apart from all the damage it causes on your body, smoking also leads to various other problems like cardiovascular disease due to plaque formation, due to plaque formation constriction of blood vessels leading to vascular disorders. Smoking also causes loss of bone density leading to conditions like osteoarthritis, loss of teeth, and joint pain. It also affects your skin by reducing the effects of antioxidants in your body by releasing free radicals, depleting collagen below your skin and causing wrinkles, audioma, and stains your fingers and nails. So the next time you light up that cigarette, think about what your body goes through to support your habit. And that's all. Thank you for joining us. Thank Very you for having me. Interesting. And that concludes our newscast.